All right, you guys. So today I'm gonna be uh, showing you guys how I build a eight shot rack. Um, this is requested by one of my subscriber. Talked to me on Instagram saying that he, I could build him a ten, eight shot rack. I was gonna make an angled eight shot rack, but he wanted a straight one. So um, here's our here are the uh, measurements I did for this woods. Um, first of all, you're gonna need a uh, two by three, not a two by four, a two by three. Um, I measured 22 inches from end to end, and then I also had four, these are the side panels, um, 22 inches as well. And then I have a 211 inches, these are going to be the side, um, vertical, like that, on the both ends. So 211 inches, I got some sanding to do, as you can tell. And then, uh, I have two 16 inches. This is going to be the support, the leg. So we're going to go ahead and get this started. So first off, we're going to have the base. Also, here are the tools I'll be using. Of course, you're going to need a drill. You're going to need a, a drill bit to pre-drill the hole so that way you don't crack the wood. And then I'm going to use this L anchor right here. So that way it keeps a good 90 degrees. And of course, your exterior screws. Doesn't matter, drywall, or you can use this one doesn't matter as long as it's uh sturdy and it'll support it so um let's get building all right so first things first we're gonna go ahead and uh build the side panel but i gotta shape off this extra um what do you call this extra wood that's in there that didn't get cut so stay tuned hold on a second let me uh grind that real quick So now that we got that shape off, as you can see on the one that I did, um, we're going to go ahead and uh, connect the L anchor. So uh, give me a second. All right. So I got the L anchor on there or the 90 degree anchor. Um, so you got to make sure that it's flush. As you can see right here, both sides. Because uh, if it's only one, if it's an eight off, uh, your tubes are not going to fit on there so it has to be the exact um, it has to be flushed otherwise you're going to have to uh, force the tube on this rack so you don't want that so we're going to go ahead and start pre-drilling this and uh, start screwing in the first side all right so before we begin uh, drilling um, you may you want to make sure that your screw is actually long enough to uh, grab the other uh, side right here so you, all you got to do is just Pair it up and that's a good inch coverage it'll grab it so we're gonna go ahead and start pre-drilling and put this on hyperlapse and uh show you guys this in hyperlapse i guess yeah. all right so now now we're done with the um side right here so now we're gonna do the other side i'll uh, just put that in hyperlapse as well so uh, you guys don't get bored. It's going to be the exact same process. Okay. All right. So I got, finally got the uh, base of the rack, as you can see right here. So now we're going to put the side panel on both sides. Which is this as well. A car? No, baby. I'm building a rack. See? And if, it, if you are cut this long, don't worry about it. That's where we're going to sand it. So that way it's not, it's going to come out flush. So uh, you got to make sure that it's actually straight though. Like it's flush straight. So that way we don't, uh, we don't have a warped rack. And if we do have a warped rack, um, just drill in a few screws where it's warped and then I should make it straight. So we're going to put this in the hyperlapse again and uh, we're going to start putting this panel. Okay. Alright, 
so we finally got the rack all built right here as you can see as you can tell it's real simple um it's not that hard so as you can see I made a miscalculation which is easy to fix because I can just sand it if it's too long and uh now I just gotta put the base the support which is this which I made 16 inches then uh support it like that and I gotta go help my son put his shoes on so give me a second all right so if you're curious if it's too short or uh not enough space in the inside the rack you can measure it as you can see I'm at 22 inches like I said normally the actual count is 2178 so I'm actually right on dot so I should have no problem putting the tubes in here so next step would be putting the support so that way you don't tip over I just got to put it on the since this is 16 inches the center would be 8 inches so that's what I need to put in here I just gotta measure eight inches and I'll find my center. So you can see it right there. All right, so I gotta make sure that this is flush so that my support is actually uh, gonna be flat, flush in there as well. So I'm gonna sand that real quick and uh, so that way I can put my support. All right, you guys. So this is the finish, the finish product right here. Now I just gotta put the tube to show you guys that it actually, the eight tubes actually fit in here. So let me go get the tubes real quick. And let me put it in here. Yeah. 